Jefferson Davis's relations with his Congress sort of went from bad to worse um, for a variety of reasons. Number one, the Confederate Congress was formed largely by men who will later form. There is no second party in the Confederacy. There's just the administration party, and there's what, for want of a better term, was the anti-Jefferson Davis party, which had no real platform except opposition to Davis on the part of a number of men who all thought they should be president instead. Uh, Davis was remarkably successful with his Congress in that he got every war appropriation bill he, he, uh, he sent to it through his uh, uh, Secretary of War and Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, he hands down 32 vetoes and only one of them is overturned. But it needs to be borne in mind that all the while the, the, the Confederate Congress is carping and, and backbiting at Davis, they also realize you know, this is a war, stupid, and we've got to support the soldiers in the field. He expended virtually no effort at trying to curry good relations with Congress. There again is this Davis's pride and his, his unwillingness to be seen by others as currying favor. Uh, there are at least two accounts I can recall of Davis getting involved in shouting matches with a couple of congressmen in his office. One is some congressman from North Carolina as a Virginian. We always point that out. <laughs> <laughs> and there are, it is at least reputed that when Davis was walking down the street in Richmond, if he saw a congressman approaching him on the sidewalk, he would cross to the other side of the street <laughs> so as not to be seen speaking to the congressman publicly for fear people might think he was politicking with him. Uh, that's not a good way to work with your most important branch of government. 